Hello, welcome to our Android development class. My name is Anietie Etsuk and this is Team Coders. We're putting up this program for mostly kids in upper primary school and for some that are new to mobile app development in early secondary school. Now, the essence of this program is to introduce us to problem solving by using mobile app development as a case study. For this particular age, we'll be using App Inventor as our development environment. And the lectures will be, I'll break them into simple parts so that after one class, we can, you know, get the other class to, to follow. In today's class, being our first class, I'll explain some basic things, um, screen properties, user experience, and user interface. So I'll get straight to App Inventor and we'll build from there. I want to assume strongly that you have App Inventor installed on your system. I'm using App Inventor 2. So if you double click, you have um, these two items running and this other one. Depends on the speed of your system. You can just check when you have a um, server running. It means it is running. But while that is, open any of your browser, specifically um, Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, these two are better. Um, for now, it does not um, carry little about them. Um, Explorer. Okay, so you type local hosts colon 8888. And okay, so you have the welcome to App Inventor screen. You can just click here and then click login. You can use any user detail to log in so in today's class um, a, a bit of what we we'll do is to create an interface like this more like a menu screen subsequent um, in other programs when we build other apps i'll show us how to work on something like um, a welcome screen so for this one we're starting with the menu screen so we'll do something like this by the end of this class okay so take a new project start a new project remember when giving project names uh, it should be one word so um, let, let's call it my first app and then i click ok if you check my first app is one word okay so basically app inventor um, uh, this is the menu and for the environment the development interface You'll be, you'll be working with the designer and the blocks. For now, we're in designer, and in designer, we have palette, viewer, components, and properties. This is our screen interface. One thing you should always concentrate on is this thing, components. Whatever is highlighted here, you can edit the properties of that particular item. So for now, this is our screen. Okay, so what can we do with screen? One, about screen. You write a little about yourself. Um, you can say this app um, um, this um, this is an ABCD app developed by you write your name for me I'm writing an it that took um, you can you you can contact us on zero zero three nine five five eight six three nine. So anybody that loads the app will get to see the basic information. Now, so this is just a part of screen. It appears when um, there's a button I'll show you later. Sometimes when people will need more information about the app, they click that particular button. Now, alignment, al align horizontal, align vertical. Let me place um, an item on the screen. I'll delete it later. Now, if I go back to the screen, see what happens if it's because it's aligned left, that is why this is towards the left. If I say align center, it gets to the center. If I say align right, it gets to the to right. Align vertical, it's on top now. If I say um, align center, it gets to the middle. If I say align bottom, it gets... So you can use this to arrange how things should appear on your screen. Sometimes I prefer to keep... It depends on interface, but for this particular one, I just want everything to be in the middle. Um, okay. So my app name, so this, I can change this particular name. When the app is installed um, on the phone, the way you have the, the different apps showing, this is the name that, that will appear. 
so I'll just say ABCD ABCD for kids ABCD kids app or just ABCD kids okay background color for now we can leave the background color because there's something I want to do with the arrangements uh, our background image I'll tell us more about background image later I'll tell us about close screen orientation I'll tell us about icon later I'll tell us about open screen animation um, primary color uh, primary color dark screen orientation now okay so screen orientation is do you want your screen to be um, portrait which is like I can say vertical or you want it to be um, landscape which is more like horizontal or you want it depends on how the person holds the phone the screen adjusts for this particular app I want it to be portrait always so I want it this way um, I don't want the screen to be scrollable because I want everything to appear on it um, show list as Jason if that one show status bar so there are some this is the status bar so I want when the child is holding the app maybe I don't want the status bar to show I want the status bar to show that is for this then sizing um, I'll take responsive so some it can adjust easily to um, the phone the buttons and other items can adjust easily then the team the team I want device device defaults it's more um, recent and updated then the title screen I don't want this title screen to appear on the app itself okay so this is because of I said um, I set the uh, screen to the device default so I don't want the title to be visible so if you check the title is gone I want it to be plain so these are certain things these are some for for this part this stage these are different things you can do with your screen to increase the how the app will appear